Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be looking at God of War Ragnarok. Just so you know, this is not a review. This is uh, merely first impressions. This is going to be talking mainly about the gameplay of the game, rather than its story. The story, um, talking about that, will be reserved specifically for the review once I've actually beaten the game. So, the gameplay, it's pretty good. Um, first I'm going to talk about the combat, because, you know, that's one of the main things in the game. Um, the combat, it's pretty good. It's top-notch. It's like, um, I can tell it gets a, a little bit of inspiration from Soulsborns, mainly with uh, the lock-on system and dodging. It, uh... It's at least something that's very familiar to me as a Souls player myself. And, you know, just something to catch on. Like, as a Souls player, I caught on to the combat pretty easily. Um, it has a pretty good tutorial. It teaches the basics pretty well. And it, the weapons are, uh, specifically the Leviathan, the Leviathan, the Blades of Chaos, are extremely fun to use extremely fun, especially the Leviathan, because they have this vast array of moves, they have these vast arrays of moves, and you can have a lot of fun with them, you can deal with heavy amounts of damage, and um, Atreus comes into a lot of use, especially uh, when his bow gets upgraded, um, I don't know all the other elements, um, mainly just been doing the stun and he's very useful for stunning your enemies so one little piece of advice is uh always be occasionally having Atreus fire off some arrows especially when you're in dire need of uh destruction from like like the enemy like distracting the enemies it's, you know and the game also has a lot of uh really good puzzles i don't have any footage of any puzzle solving here but, I just want you to know, you can also use the environment around you, you know, to get advantage on uh, your enemies. Like, you know, getting high vantage points, or like there, when I uh, use that stone to uh, deal some serious damage to that enemy over there. So, yeah, that's just another thing I wanted to add. So another thing is, is that there is a vast array of skills that you can use to um, enhance your ability in combat, and it's very important that you do so, because if you don't, you're going to find yourself stuck in a lot of situations that you don't want to be stuck in. There is also a mechanic where you'll be rewarded for using your skills in combat, where like, say, if you use this one ability several times, you'll eventually unlock, like, some enhancer to it, where you can, say, increase how much it stuns your enemies, how much damage it does, or how, like, you can, like, keep yourself from being staggered or make yourself less likely to be staggered during that same attack when you're executing it. And, it's again, it's something that you're go going to want to utilize. It's something that's meant to encourage you to use y your arsenal, like, everything you have. Which, again, that is some seriously good game design, and it shows that Santa Monica Sony is seriously worth their salt, and should be commended. Um, I have to list some issues I have with the game. One thing is that a lot of the dialogue in the game gets interrupted by other characters, like sometimes they'll, like, right as that they're at the end of the line, they're like, one of the characters that's, like, supposed to come in next when they're talking will interrupt right at the end, which is something that's just a little jarring. It's not a major issue, but, 
you know, again, it's a little jarring and can throw you off. There was also one typo I found in the subtitles during dialogue. I can't remember where it was, but it's there. I, like, there was a typo where, like, like, your, it was like, like, there was like an M, like, M, your, and it's just like, uh, okay, that's a little weird. So, um, yeah, that's the end of these first impressions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I seriously recommend you to play the game and, you know, enjoy it, because it's really a really good experience, and, um, yeah. If I spoil anything for you, I'm, I'm sorry. I really tried not to. The, hopefully the most I spoiled was just Atreus getting an upgrade to his bow, so, yeah. See ya.